Hi, I'm Joy Harris, and this is how to make drizzle frosting. Whether you're using a meringue powder icing or a royal icing or even melted chocolate, the process is the same for all. Start, I'm going to be using a royal icing today, so I'm going to start with some icing that I made earlier and then I put a wet paper towel over it to keep it soft, but it's still not quite thin enough for my drizzle frosting. So I'm adding some water to that. I'm adding about a teaspoon. I'm using a little more water than you would normally use when you're frosting your cookies because I want it to be very, very thin. But you still, you've got to be careful not to make it too runny. So let me mix this in here. Royal icing or meringue powder icing is very forgiving if you make a mistake because if you add too much water to it, you can add more powdered sugar. Or if you let it sit out and it gets way too thick, then you just add more water to it. And it just stirs in very nicely. That looks like it's about the right consistency because when I lift it up and it drops back into the frosting, the frosting from the spoon, it um, melts away into the frosting in the bowl rather quickly. And that's the consistency I want for my drizzle frosting. Now the next step is to use, I like to use a disposable uh, frosting bag. You could use a baggie if you wanted to as well and just snip off the corner, but I'm going to use this disposable bag without a coupler or a tip because I'm going to be working quickly and you can do a lot of cookies at one time with this method. So fold down if you're using the bag, fold down and make a cuff and you can hold it in one hand if you'd like to for this process, but I like to put mine in a tall glass. Just makes it a little easier for me to maneuver. And then I'm going to pour in some of the um, frosting. And you really only want to work with about a half a cup of frosting at the time. Work the frosting down to the um, tip of the bag if you can, but it's not going to go all the way down until you snip the tip. This is starting to run down on its own, but it's still a little thick. So you can either snip it or just work it down into the bottom and then seal up the top. Since I'm going to be doing this very quickly, I'm not going to tape it or anything. I just twist it up the top. I'm going to snip the bottom, the very tip of this, and when I do, it's probably going to start swirling out right then. Okay, it's starting to come out a little bit. I already have my cookies lined up on um, a wire rack so that the frosting will have a place to drip to once I do this. Um, if you don't put them on a wire rack and you just have them on a cookie sheet, the frosting will puddle up around each cookie and make it soft. So you can be creative with this or you can just um, get the kids in there, get them to help you with it. And you see right there, that's how easy it is. You can do several at a time. And if you make a mistake, you can see how that doesn't look so pretty there. You can always go back and fix it. That's how easy it is.